Hey Mega Man X fans, are you tired of not having your prayers answered for the last 16 years? Have you just been replaying the same games, not that one, over and over and just don't know how to move on? Do you have $20 to spend on approximately two hours of hot, steamy, early access action? Well then my friends, <laughs> I have the game for you. 30XX, right? It's like a thousand times better than 20XX according to the title. I know my math is wrong. Shut up. The main takeaway if you never played the original is that it's an action platformer roguelike that takes massive inspiration from the Mega Man X series. You can play as X, I mean Nina, or Zero, I mean Ace. They play exactly the way you think they would and in the best way possible. This game feels absolutely airtight to play. I never once had a frustrating platforming moment where it felt like the game was working against me. You run, you jump, you dash, and you shoot. Or slash. There's two modes, a regular roguelike mode where everything is procedurally generated in Mega Mode where it's a static playthrough. You pick the order of the levels, but they're always laid out in the same way, making it a bit more traditional. These static levels aren't exactly perfect, I only really remember a couple of them, but they served their purpose and were pretty fun. The bosses of 30XX are fun and varied, from more traditional X-style bosses to fighting the boss room itself to a whole extra hard platforming segment where you constantly chase the boss throughout the stage. The game is constantly finding ways to be more than just a Mega Man X wannabe. The art style is pixel art this time around, and it's super clean compared to the early Flash game art from 20XX. The sprite work is great, and even in motion, this game looks absolutely timeless. The soundtrack also has a few strong entries, the best of which is the title theme. Chiptune music is easy to screw up and make extremely annoying, but 30XX manages to have a pleasant, albeit a little bit forgettable at times, selection of music. The game is in early access, so it's not complete yet. There's only six levels, no final boss, and only two characters, down from four in 20XX, two of which were DLC. All these are kind of bummers that might deter people from the $20 price tag. The replayability of the roguelike mode is pretty infinite, and with the multiple difficulty levels, there's something for players of all skill levels. This game looks great, feels great, there's more content coming for it, and it's a speedrunner's dream. I'm biased as a Mega Man X fan, of course, but my word of advice on this one is buy it. If you guys like this style of video, let me know in the comments down below. I want to be able to cover more games, and I can't really do that if I keep making 10 plus minute videos every single week. So I want to try to make these shorter videos so that I can play more games and make more content at the same time. Make sure you also like and subscribe, and stick around for more content.